Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Venom Pool bullet figure ghost spider uh, figure here. And uh, it's basically just uh, spider Gwen as the symbiote. I don't know why they called this one ghost spider when they won that is actually ghost spider. Or I guess, actually, no, never mind. That's spirit spider with the uh, Ghost Raider look to it. Um, but here's the front for you. He, uh, she comes with the Venom Pool torso, and you get that nice looking Spider-Man animated series Maximum Venom logo there. I, I wish they added in that one, um, the one uh, Venomized Spider-Man one where it's like white. It's kind of like anti-Venom kind of, I guess you could say. Here's the side art there for you. Here's the back for you. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. Uh, and then here's the other side for you. Uh, here's the top with the Spider-Man Venomized logo there. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of packaging. So she doesn't come with accessories for herself. But like I said, she comes with the Venom Pool torso. And comes with the little sword holders for Venom Pool here. So we'll go over that when we build them though. Um, but besides that, that, that she doesn't have any accessories, but she looks really cool. So let's go over the looks here. So she has that hood from uh, Gwen Stacy. It's Emmett Venom, Emmett, no, uh, Spider Gwen. Um, but it has like that teeth look to it, white teeth. They did a good job on the paint. I think the paint, white paint kind of bled over, but I think they meant to that to give it a messy look for it because it's Venom. Uh, and then the hood turns into a tongue, like an extremely long tongue. And it's kind of like, I guess, it's not bendy wire, but it's very, you can bend it all over the place, so it doesn't do much. And you get like these little extra, like little teeth, I guess, parts there, or branches there. So you get some more there, another one there. And then, like, it's really swirly. And then, yeah, this, you can tell it's teeth because of that little part too. And then she has this like little vest here, which is pretty cool. It has that like Venom type of logo going on there and through the back. So that looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like the design there. It looked like I only had six legs there for a second. I looked at these and then I saw those little spikes down there or the legs down there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is the same body mold for uh, Spider Gwen and I just put the vest over her. Um, but the legs look good. I mean, uh, not much to talk about besides that it's like a navy blue. And then she has those little slippers there and it has a, like a little toe there. So that's interesting to see. Um, and then on her arm here, you get this little spike here, like Spider-Man 2099. It gets a little veiny. So that's cool. And then you get the little white square from the original like black suit Spider-Man. So that's cool too. And one thing I forgot to say, the head sculpt is brand new, I think, for her. Um, because it, I think it looks a little bit different. The, the eyes look a little more narrow compared to the other Spider-Gwen one. I'll do a comparison here in a bit. Oh yeah. So they kind of messed up on the paint on the others. Oh uh, no. I wish they painted these white too. They have white for this, but not the other ones. I wish they painted that way a little bit. I'm not sure if it's just mine that does that, but it's kind of a little off-putting that they have that white instead of the, all the others. Weird. Um, but yeah, and then you also for the hands, these are brand new hands, by the way. Um, so you get these like little claws, one that looks like she's gonna, I guess, grab you, I don't know. Very creepy claws and one that is actually gonna slash you. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, um, that's all got for the look. So let's go over articulation here. So her head can move down that far up. 
that far to it kind of messes with it a little bit uh, she can look left and right but like you gotta maneuver this a little bit it's like a little awkward for her uh head pivoting not a whole lot because the hood uh her shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees way past 90 degrees you get 360 rotation around the shoulder uh you got a single jointed shoulders i mean elbows there my bad you also get 360 rotation around there that looks a little weird i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it looks like my elbow joint kind of cracked there come on focus if it will there we go you could you could kind of see but it looks like it's kind of cracked there i can't really tell maybe from yeah i mean it's kind of peeling just a little bit there i'm a little worried about that uh yeah that's definitely peeling quite a bit i think that's paint chipping but i'm not sure i'm gonna have to keep an eye on this elbow here but i don't like single joints and elbows like i said before i feel like they they just break super easily to me i I would hope, I really hope they do double jointed that at some point for the female characters or smaller ones. I know they do it with She-Hulk, but she had like more wide elbows so they could put two pins in there. But these are like pretty skinny, so they're not really able to do that. Um, and then she has a ball joint at here, so a diaphragm joint. So she can go forward a little bit, not a whole lot, backwards a little bit too. You can do 360 rotation around there. And then you can get her to pivot to the side a little bit. So now a whole lot of movement for the diaphragm joint there. Uh, she can kick out just a little bit there. Now a whole lot. Uh, forward, decent. Uh, backwards, now like zero. Um, she does have a thigh cut. She has double jointed knees. Ooh, I'm a little worried about these. These are a little skinny um so i feel like it'll snap at some point or something she has a shin cut there her ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot and then here she is next to spider gwen the into the spider verse spider gwen from the two pack with miles morales so there's that for you they have the somewhat similar aspects except she doesn't have the hood and the design is different but i think the body mold is the same um uh, besides I know the feet are different, the hands are different, the arms are different, the head is different. So, pretty obvious on those parts. Um, but uh, besides that, uh, I think she's pretty cool. She looks cool. I just think they could have done a lot better with articulation. I'm a little worried about that elbow right there. Um, the diaphragm joint isn't all that well, but I mean, it's a pretty small figure, or I guess. Uh, slim figure so I mean they can't really do much about it because it's not a whole lot of not a whole lot you can do with it especially since if you put like way too many stuff it's gonna get weak and it'll break pretty easily so I, I kind of understand why they're doing single joints of it instead but hopefully they can figure something out with these figures because like at my silver sable her elbow broke off snapped off I didn't even force it that much um but yeah but besides that, she looks pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for the uh, new Spider Gun that's coming out for uh, Into the Spider Verse movie um, that they're actually doing them justice for. Like they actually did a better job. They get, gave us an actual head sculpt from the movie. And then also Miles Morales one looks pretty cool. So I'll be getting those. Um, but besides that, um, cool, but articulation is a little bit of a problem and the problem with the elbow but that's it all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you check out my buddy's instagram page at highlight photos he does really cool photos also my two best friends that i usually play call of duty with sometimes with other games they have card pages christian's card page is bad Buke 767 uh, connor's card page well he doesn't really have one at the moment his jeep's gone he has a new car i will update it when he yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to reactions to. I wanna get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment. 
uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.